Man, the bro, the vlog, bro, TK was a team, bro. The the way the vlogs be worded and shit, bro, it be crazy. Like, TK was a team. And he just smoked how many niggas? Nigga, all the bodies get caught by teenagers. You talking about a team? Do we know what this nigga look like? That nigga probably standing six nine, got a 30 clip on him and some I would have punched his ass too. Tell a nigga get through some money, bring through 20, she keep coming. Fuck you, tell him I'll keep coming. Send cold deep in the fuck of my stomach. I don't get it gone from Monday to Sunday. I don't know what he said, but it smell like a honey. Running rounds in the gun, baby, bitch, keep coming. Mm -hmm. uh, I said I got blue residents in my jeans. Uh -huh. My big dog and I hold out a lead. She be calling me back when I leave. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you said for me, huh? Uh -huh. We got brown, I be clean, you know. Uh -huh. I'm real like the. Uh -huh. Carol, what's up, too? Can I get your boy? What's up, friend? Katie, off the rip. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family, only because we live is doing this. All my videos live and tight and authentic. I bring in little body too, but ain't nobody else doing it like us. Now, off the rip, y'all can see by the title, man. We got the NBA dummies want to be gangsta. Now, off the rip, I don't know why everybody playing with my nigga John Moran like that. If, 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 at first, I'm going to keep it 100. Y'all probably seen my comment. It's some page, bro. Like, uh, I think the little. Sportsman nigga, uh, Shannon, some shit like that. Folk was speaking. He was talking about y'all know the little video where that nigga going in on John Morant types. And me personally, bro, when I seen that video, it just rubbed me the wrong way, bro. Like I had to speak, I had to say something, bro. It rubbed me the wrong way, cause this old OG sick born in the 60s, 50s ass nigga talking about young. You supposed to be a man, and you don't hear talking crazy about a nigga like that. Like how you gonna tell? How y'all gonna speak on how a nigga coming based off? Where he made it. Oh, and what a nigga in the in the, in the NBA with two hundred million dollar contract. That's a, that's how I was feeling. And that nigga was talking like Wendy Williams, bro. This nigga gossiping like a little female. I'm like the Shannon nigga, the Shannon, the OG nigga be wearing them super tight suits, busting through. Bro, get a size large, bro. Stop buying smalls. You feel me? Like stop buying smalls, my nigga. You clearly large. That old ass nigga ran me hot, I ain't gonna lie. And I don't even got no, I don't even disrespect the OGs like that, but the way he talking about young nigga like that, bro, like, that's ran me hot. But anyway, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I will vouch it for you like heavy, my nigga, but I done seen some pictures where it look like she might have been a little green over there for you. You know what I'm saying? So we finna get into the video. You know I'ma keep it a hundred, my nigga. I'ma keep it a hundred. I'ma keep it a hundred. I ain't gonna lie. I will vouch it for you, y'all, but I don't know, man. You feel me? We finna see what he's talking about, though, bro. Y'all let me know if y'all feel like John Moran on that type of time. You feel me? My boy, my boy going crazy for real. Y'all boys are like, let's get a man. Out of the five major American sports, basketball is the hardest sport to make it to the pros. One in 12,363 players, or 0.008% of players, will get signed to a professional team. To put that in perspective, if every dot on a basketball represents one potential pro signee, three dots out of the 35,000 will make it. The NBA- I ain't gonna lie. And niggas wonder why I stopped, why I stopped hooping. Me and my homies outside every morning, early as hell on the court, going hard. I'm to my rain, sleet, snow, we out there. Nigga, I was, bro, back then, kind of hard for a nigga. I had cleats, football cleats. And I used to hoop in cleats to the point where it, you can't even tell it was cleats no more, the look like shoes. I saw every day, and that bitch, uh, running suicide. Man, eventually I came to my sense. I'm like, man, nigga ain't going to the league, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. Like, these niggas out here right now swear they going to the league. Fuck, just start. Get on. Make you an OnlyFans or some shit. Do like the female, my nigga. It also happens to pay their players the best, with the average salary per player being roughly $10 million per year, which would place you in the top 0.1% of earners in the United States. So someone like John ja Morant, securing the extraordinary job as a professional basketball player means he has basically won the lottery of life. He worked extremely hard and is being rewarded at the highest level for his efforts. And instead of building his legacy and setting up potential generational wealth for him and his family, he's deciding to take on the role as a gangster rapper, assaulting people, flexing weapons on Instagram. Not a rap, bro, why you had to add rap on there, dog? Why you couldn't just say gangster, bro? That nigga threw rap on there, like, I ain't gonna lie. It's still, it, what you, we, I'm gonna let you get into the video, my nigga, but it really don't matter, like, who cares that he made it up there like that, bro? Like, that may be what nigga from. Y'all don't know how nigga grew up. Y'all don't know where this man come from, bro. Who cares, because this nigga in the top 1%, my nigga, who cares? It's buku niggas in the top 1%, folk. Like, that's, 
Nigga, Jay-Z in the top 1%. I don't know shit about, bro, but you feel me? It, it's, it don't matter, bro. El Chapo was in the top 1%. What the fuck that mean? You feel me? Like, and trying to prove to the world that he really is about that life. Only person who made the NBA to go back to the hood. Ja grew up in South Carolina in a small, quiet country town called Dalzell. Dalzell is a few miles outside of Sumter, which is ranked as the 46th most dangerous city in South Carolina. He went to Crestwood High School, where student academic perform boy said 46. performance is just about average with the entire state. It's pretty safe to say that Ja grew up in a very average American so See, that what I be saying is, y'all. I be trying to vouch for you, fool, but then they pull up pictures of you with your, with your polo button to the top and shit. I ain't gonna lie, back then, that was the swag, my nigga. We had the polos on with the cargo shorts, long socks, probably some Chuck Taylors, probably some polo shoes, probably some Sperry's. Like, I never had Sperry's, but I don't even, I couldn't even, I, I couldn't afford Sperry's, but I had shit like them. You know what I'm saying? Like, low top, Chuck Taylors, my whole, probably from City Trend. Like, but that was the swag back then. Like, suburb, surrounded by slightly above average crime rate, and went to an average school. We have no reason to believe that he is a gangster or is gang affiliated in any way. He has no criminal record, no history of violence, and really only a few minor arguments on the court, which is extremely normal. Ja has two loving parents who have always supported his basketball dreams and are very proud of him. His Why mother describes him as a genuinely loving person. His father, T, used all of his free time to privately train Ja and help him become the superstar he is today. Morant is only 23. He was drafted as the number two overall pick by the Memphis Grizzlies in 2019. He won Rookie of the Year in his first season after averaging nearly 18 points per game, and every year his stats have just gotten better and better. This year he's been on fire with a 27 point average while shooting 46 percent in the 2022 offseason ja signed a five-year extension with the memphis grizzlies this contract would earn him 25 percent of the salary cap yearly which is estimated to be around 40 million dollars per year putting him roughly in the top 10 earners in the entire nba that boy said 40 million i ain't gonna lie job brother Damn, fool. That's crazy. His performance in the first five seasons outside. are reminiscent of Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, and Allen Iverson. Ironically, AI and Ja have even more in common, indulging in a lifestyle that is synonymous with rappers, more specifically, gangster rappers. Allen hey, Iverson liked to party, me. go to clubs, drink, and gamble, which ultimately led to the downfall of his career. Ja Morant, as of recent, likes to show people how tough he is. On January 3rd, 2023, TMZ reported that Ja Morant was allegedly involved in the attack of a minor during a basketball game in July at his Tennessee. Just wanted to start a business. All right, first of all, yes, first of all, just for the ad, second And then all. this happens. Look, I ain't even gonna lie. Home. Y'all see how all my ads about business, though. I, a nigga just commented on my video this morning. Some lame ass nigga named Joshua Joshua Barker or some shit like that. My boy said I'm back on the tube because I'm going broke. You just seen my ads was about Shopify. My nigga, I'm making the most money I ever made in my life, and none of it's from YouTube. I don't even get paid on this shit for real. Like all my videos be copyrighted. Nigga, I make like on average at least three thousand a day on other sh sales and business you get what i'm saying i really want to put some of these on but little bums like that little nigga right there like they be the reason i can't get free game because i don't want to help little brother in his life tell little peewee ass on but to the ones that support i be trying to put y'all niggas on some money for real but anyways uh what the fuck was i finna say if i just got off let me see i got off topic show people how tough he is oh he said he punched a team man the bro the vlog bro take was a team bro the, the way the vlogs be worded and shit, bro, it be crazy. Like, Tank was a team. And he just smoked how many niggas? Nigga, all the bodies get caught by teenagers. You talking about a team? Do we know what this nigga look like? That nigga probably standing 6'9, got a 30 clip on him and some. I would have punched his ass too. You feel me? Like, I'd have knocked his ass out. On January 3rd, 2023, TMZ reported that Ja Morant was allegedly involved in the attack of a minor during a basketball game in July at his Tennessee home. The two got into an argument, and the teenager said Ja approached him, put his chin on his shoulder, and asked a bystander, should I do it to him? Then struck him with a closed fist, 
knocking him to the ground. From there, Ja continued sticking him while on the ground, and another man jumped in and began hitting the boy as well. Officers in the dock say they weak, noted bro. the teenager had a large knot on his head. Ja says he did strike the boy, but he was acting in self-defense after the boy threw a basketball at him. Morant told officers the teenager made verbal threats stating he'd light his house up as he was being escorted off the property. There are also separate reports that say that Ja hit the boy 12 to 13 times and even went into his house, grabbed a gun, and put it in his waistband, taunting the boy. Now, NBA I ain't news- gonna lie, Ja, bro. Ja, I ain't gonna lie. Well, I will watch for you the whole video, bro. But you can't go get your gun, he ain't gonna use it, man. Can't go get your fire, he ain't gonna use it, bro. You feel me, man? Then he told me he gonna light your house up. I would've knocked his ass out too. I ain't gonna lie. He wouldn't even been at my house, bro. He wouldn't even, he wouldn't even been there, but I don't know, Ja. Then asking the homie, should I do it to him? It sounded like my boy was influenced by the niggas around him. I ain't asking nobody nothing. They gonna ask me why I did it to him, shit. News outlets were harping on the fact that the kid was 17, but to give Ja the benefit of the doubt, a 17-year-old these days most definitely could light your house up. Nah, the four people sure. involved in Pop Smoke's murder were 19, 18, 17, and 15. It's easy to see 17 and think of an innocent boy, but that may not be the case. The teenager did press charges, and the boy's mother demanded $20 million from Morant, but the charges were dropped due to insignificant evidence, and it was looking more like a false allegation for someone to make a quick payday off an NBA player. But four days before this fight, Ja had another police report filed by a security guard at a finish line in the Memphis Mall. The altercation started after Morant's mother had a dispute with an employee, which led her to call her son. Ja showed up with nine men. A verbal confrontation transpired, and then a member of Morant's group pushed the security guard in the head. Morant then said, let me find out what time he gets off, which made the guard want to file a report as he felt threatened by Morant's statement. Now, Ja had the opportunity to show the world how gangsta he was when Shannon Sharp pressed the Grizzlies on the sidelines of their match against this the nigga. Lakers. Shannon yelled at Dylan Brooks saying, he can't guard LeBron, to which Dylan responded, f*** you. Shannon retaliated and stood on the sideline begging for them to get in his man, face. Man, this nigga about 90 years old, bro. Fo, you about 90 years old, bro. You talking about niggas want to be tough. Look at you, fool. You, you, gang, bro, ain't your kids about 30, bro? Your kids supposed to probably play in the league, fool. You supposed to be on the golf course, bro. Why is you on the court acting like you super tough, nigga? You talking about them? Look at you, bro. Man, you about 90 years old, bro. Go sit down, bro. It man ain't talking about a young nigga trying to be tough and look at this nigga sitting courtside, bro. Shut up, nigga. Ja's father T even got up and barked at him a little bit, but nobody wanted to get up and close to Shannon. Ja yelled from across the court. And the Grizzlies. And as soon as people tried to usher Shannon away, that's when the Grizzlies decided to try and press him. Shannon later said, they don't want this smoke. They don't want problems. But I wanted everything they had. Fast forward one week later and Ja got into you him. You see what? Look, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna act like my nigga Ja ain't acting out. He is acting out, bro. But this nigga, y'all see why this nigga ran me hot, bro. This nigga a uh, uh, hypocrite. How you how you supposed to be a famous spokesman, ESPN talk show, 59-year-old, 89-year-old host? And I keep bringing up age, because folks, ain't your life supposed to be, ain't you supposed to be the mature motherfucker? Ain't you supposed to be, like, level-headed and, and you on the court acting like a, a little peewee? Bro, sit down with that too. Bro, how do you manage to find the tightest clothes in the store everywhere you go, my nigga? You got on these tight ass jeans, this customized extra tight ass jean jacket that people made just for you. Them tight ass pants and some tight ass glasses. Like, fool, sit down, bro. You talking about them trying to be tough and you on, online talking about you wanted all the smoke. Man, sit your old lap, bro. Nigga, kick you in your damn knee, bro. Shut up. Y'all, y'all be. It's niggas like him. We never disrespect the elderly, bro, but niggas like him? Shut up, nigga an altercation with Chris Duarte of the Indiana Pacers. Chris pushed him three times while Ja repeated, don't touch me. But Ja had some plans for retaliation after the game. 
Acquaintances of Grizzly star Ja Morant aggressively confronted members of the Pacers traveling party near the team's bus in the loading area of FedEx Forum Arena, and later someone in a slow-moving SUV, which Morant was riding in, trained a red laser on them. We don't know if Ja was the one who pointed the laser, and we also don't know if that laser was attached to a gun. But was Ja trying to do the first post-NBA game drive-by? I guess by comparison, it's not as bad as Gilbert Arenas, the Wizards player in 2009 brought a gun into the locker room and threatened to shoot one of his teammates over a card game. But let's not forget that last year at 2 in the morning, Ja said to a Twitter op that it's free to see how hollows feel, referring to hollow tip bullets. And if that evidence wasn't enough, just last week, Ja went on Instagram Live while he was at the strip club and flashed a gun to the camera. This action prompted a two-game suspension, as well as Ja deactivating all of his social media pages. Obviously, 99% of people denounced this behavior, but some people like Gilbert Arenas and Paul Pierce defended Ja, basically saying they understand why he carries a gun. Ja has everything going right for him. He's living a life that's near impossible to achieve. So why does he want to run around and act gangsta now? Bro, you not hard. That's not your life. People that in that life would give anything to be. That man go get his suits tailored for real. Like them hoes be super tight. For they don't even sell this type of shit in the store. Bro. I'm a full time CEO. They don't even sell that shit in the store. Code. I, the founder myself, built the company over the last couple. In your life. Damn, I swear sports and music are so synonymous because we want to be them and they want to be us. Those lyrics come from Thank Me Now, the final track on Drake's 2010 debut album Thank Me Later. Rappers love the esteem, the money, and the safety that basketball players have, but basketball players love the lifestyle that rappers have. We know that Ja loves NBA Youngboy. He is constantly going on IG Live rapping along to his lyrics. Youngboy has a way of making his nefarious lifestyle sound fun and exciting, even though it's extremely stressful and he likely has a target on his back to He don't make that shit sound exciting, nigga. He makes sound exciting niggas like you who on here talking crazy about bro, but it ain't shit about what this nigga be saying exciting. Nigga that said I can't walk my daughter, this and that, can't take my daughter. This shit ain't exciting, nigga. Four, seven. Like we said before, Ja is from a small suburb in the middle of South Carolina, and we have reason to believe he's had a pretty solid and stable upbringing. He moved to Memphis, which is known for being a dangerous city, home to a lot of famous rappers. He became the face of the Grizzlies franchise, so everyone in the city loves him. When he goes to the club, where real Memphis gangsters probably hang out, they likely show him love. Even rival yeah. gangsters in Memphis could probably bond over the Grizzlies being their favorite team. He's getting a taste of their lifestyle, the lifestyle that his favorite rappers glamorize. They are bringing him places he never would have been able to go, and he probably isn't too worried about his safety because he doesn't have enemies. He wants the power and the respect that comes with having street cred, but he doesn't have to risk his life for it, and he has a guaranteed $10 million Damn. yearly salary. Ja oh, has- man, I ain't gonna lie, you ain't gotta have no enemies. You just said my boy living in the top 1%, he ain't gotta have no enemies. So his safety is on the risk everywhere. No left, no Everything cap. They don't, and I he wants no the lie, one no thing cap. they have. But the one thing that they have requires them to be alert and prepared to risk their life at any given moment. Some people say 23 years old is enough to know better, but there's no doubt that a small reason why he's acting out is due to his age. 23 with enough money to do whatever he wants is dangerous, especially when his father is also indulging in his son's success. The NBA definitely wants to see Ja succeed, but if he continues down this path, he will be ostracized by the media and eventually it will be too risky for any team to bring him on. His career will be cut short similar to other players who have tried these antics in the past. And the funny part about that is, his new friends that are bringing him into this lifestyle won't be there for him when he isn't a star basketball player anymore. <laughs> Look bro, he hit the hell off too dramatic. Brad, he said he had to show his face in the hell off the rip, man. Hey, job I've been vouching for you forever, bro. I, I, me and my dog, we done had so many conversations about this, man. I, I was on that, I was on, bro, I was on some, you can't say, y'all can't say what well, it come from just because of like where he made it, bro. Y'all don't know what he went through, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all don't know nothing about this man's history at all. Just because he made it to the, they're like saying Derrick Rose was, was, was acting gangster when he made it to the, man, this man was a whole in Chicago. Our GD, BD, one of them in Chicago, bro. Y'all don't know what these niggas, what they went through, bro. Like, but, but, but y'all ain't gonna lie. With the guns on, 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 on the live and stuff like that, my boy is trying to act like a rapper. I ain't gonna lie, but, hey, man, I don't know, y'all. I don't know, bro, because some telling me, 
Some telling me you had a decent upbringing, bro. But you was just one of them kids that wanted to be bad. That's that's what I'm getting. You wasn't really one of them niggas that were really just all the way in a messed up situation. You know what I'm saying? You just wanted to be bad. But now that you older, I mean, hey, man. My boy is acting out a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, he acting out. But y'all still can't say, what y'all acting like y'all been with this nigga his whole life. Come on, man, y'all can't. And that Shannon nigga, bro, 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 me hot. Bro, sit down, bro. Sit down, bro. Take them suits off, bro. Stop wearing them tight ass suits, bro. I'ma send, man, somebody buy this nigga a bigger suit, bro. I'm tired of seeing this nigga in them two small ass suits, bro. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all feel about this situation, bro. At this point, job been vouching for you, bro, but I do feel like my boy is acting a little, I don't know, man. The whole video I've been vouching for my nigga, I don't know now, though. You know what I'm saying? I still feel like y'all can't say where he came from, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know, man. But anyways, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family. If you made it this far into the video, I need y'all to comment. We here. Yo, we turn it up, man. Make sure y'all join the family. Appreciate the love and support. Got a brand boy some over there. So I know they got to start the video. Let's get it, man. Gang. Tell a nigga get this money. Bring through 20, she nice. keep coming. Fuck you, time, little mom keep coming. Send a cold deep in the fuck of my stomach. I don't get a gun from Monday to Sunday. I don't know what he said, but it smell like a honey. Put the rounds in the gun, baby, bitch keep coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said I got blue presidents in my jeans. Uh -huh.